Today I'm going to show you how to make a color text portrait now. We did a black and white one. This one's going to be in color. In fact, the finished product is going to look much better than this one when we're done with it. All right? I'm going to show you what to start with and how it works. We're going to get rid of all these layers because these are all mine. And I'm going to just throw these out because I don't need them anymore because I did this just now and I want to show you how I did it. Let's throw this away. Okay. We're going to start out with just a regular picture of, of, of you, yourself, your portrait, all right? Just kind of from the shoulders up. After we have the image, you guys must go to Select Color Range. After you're in the color range, you're going to hit the drop menu. We'll go to Shadows first. We'll hit the Shadows. After you've selected the shadow, just hit OK. And you're going to hit Control c and then Control j that copies and pastes the information onto its own layer. Call it shadows. After we have the shadows made, we're going back into the original layer. Select your color range. We're going to go to now midtones. In the midtones, you're just going to hit OK. It will select all your midtones. Control C is copy. Control J, it will paste it in its own layer. Take this background away. Here's your shadows and midtones. I'm going to call this one midtones. After you have your shadows and midtones together, you're going to go into the shadows layer. Uh, while you're in the shadows layer, you're going to go to edit fill. Once you're going to fill the shadows, you're going to go to this drop menu and you're going to make it black for the shadows and leave everything preserved uh, transparency as is hit OK shadows are black midtones is slightly different we're gonna go to f edit fill um, 50 percent gray for the uh, content use 50 percent leave the opacity and preserve the luminosity there we have it now you're gonna merge these layers here's how I do it um, these are the only two visible layers right well with that said you can come to this one merge visible there you go. Those are the two layers visible. And we're going to call this one now. Right click, rename. Or just double click the layer. And you're going to call it Shadows and Midtones. Now that we have the Shadows and Midtones done, make two new layers. One, two. You're going to click on the first new layer and you're gonna hold control backspace to make it a white layer on this layer well, we'll take the white layer away for now on this layer we're going to put new information which is going to be text we're gonna to go to file new make another document US paper letter eight and a half by eleven three hundred DPI is fine hit OK and you're then going to click the T for text before you do that, get a quote or a body of text that you want. I love Pope John Paul II. Um, I'm going to take this quote right here. Young people are threatened by the evil use of advertising techniques uh, that stimulate the natural inclination to avoid hard work by promising the immediate satisfaction of every desire. I think that's extremely relevant to today's uh, society, old and young. So I'm going to copy this bit of information. I'm going back into Photoshop. I'm going to click and I'm going to paste it in. Now I've got his information pasted, but it's like all over the place. I'm going to get a little closer to it. Oh boy. We're going to highlight this. After it's highlighted, you're going to center it. Move it to the middle so you can see what the heck you're, you're doing here. And I know for a fact that I don't need to read more on what this bottom thing says, so I'll get rid of this. And I'm going to change the font to a script well, let's get back to the T okay techniques let's change it first of all let's make it just three sentences like make it three lines so it takes up more space oh. one moment you guys T Good. Now, if it's too close together, we'll get to that. First, let's change the font to something, some script. How's that? I think that'll work. We'll go to Edit Free Transform. Let's see how big it is. How does it look? This isn't bad. Apply. All right. I really don't love this font. 
it's kind of like kiddish. We'll change it to this guy. Yes. Edit, free transform, and we're going to stretch that so it's legible. I could definitely read this. I'm okay with this. All right. Keep this in the middle. All right. So now we have the information written. Um, it's actually spaced out pretty good, too. If it wasn't, you can highlight the spacing. Just like the old project that we just did, you can go to Window, Character. And you could change the spacing to like a 9, too close. So make it like a 12, bigger. We want it to be an 18, maybe, space. That's good. That's a good space. So I don't like the way that F is there, so I'll highlight it just a bit more. And get your spacing good. Make this thing perfect, you guys. Drop menu, uh, 24. 24 is fine. I'm fine with this. Now, we're going to make this a brush. You're going to click on this tool right here. It's called the Rectangle Marquee Tool. And you're going to highlight this bit of information. You're then going to go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. You're going to call this thing, Quote. And you're going to hit OK. You're going to go back to your original project. And this is tricky. Please watch. You're going to click on the top layer. Keep the second one unvisible. The bottom shadows and midtones visible. On your second layer too, you're going to click on a brush, and you're going to grab that quote, which is right here, and it's the last thing I made. That quote is uh, it comes any size you want. It'll be huge. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to not too big still. Right about a little bit bigger than four, five. Make it about. I want it to be 1,200. That's fine. I'm gonna now stamp. Oh, yep. I'm gonna stamp these words on me. All over my body. I'm stamping it. All right. It doesn't have to be perfect, but don't overlap too much because you want to be able to at least read the paragraph. All right. And if you want to make it bigger at the bottom, you can. It's not necessary. All right. There you go. Now that I've filled up the whole entire layer with the stamp I am gonna go now into my shadows layer alright while you're inside your shadows layer you are going to hit control uh, shadows and midtones rather hit control A and control C control A selects all control C copies all you're going into your layer 2 now where all of your text is make a layer mask which is right here and in the layer mask hold alt select the mask and paste control V now we're going to deselect what we have here so hit control D now that we've deselected it um, we're going to hit uh, control I this inverts your text now watch if I take this away there's the text over my body and it's not exactly lined up but I'll line it up real fast move the alignment tool. If it lines up perfectly then awesome. If it doesn't, you could move it with this move tool and your text. You're moving it to line it up perfectly to your body which in my case is right here. Now it's lined up to my body. Bring this back up. Looks a little bit like me, but not really. Alright, now here's how it gets really cool. Watch. Um, on this particular layer, what uh, my, next, my next process is to click on the text itself and I'm gonna go to the FX in the FX I'm gonna make a gradient overlay I'm gonna make the overlay a colorful one on the gradient which will be like right here is a colorful one and I'm also going to make it a screen which is right here so if I hit OK now I have a screened overlay of me but it doesn't stop there after I have a screened overlay of me I want to be able to see more of what I have. So I'm going to click on the text layer itself. And I'm going to make sure that I have black revealed here. I'm going to then click the brush tool. And watch. When I lower the opacity, I'm going to select a, before I lower the opacity, select a soft edge. A little bit of a smaller soft edge, a little bit bigger than that. Right about there. That's fine. Now. Yeah, all right, I'll leave that as is. With this black selected on my text, with the brush selected, I could erase. I could just click 
and reveal other parts. Oh, backspace. Let me just do this. Lower the opacity to 30%, around 30-ish. This way, you could reveal just what you want. Right about there. Now, there we go. That's pretty legit. Now I have Pope John Paul. I got my eye fully there. I have Pope John Paul's quote all throughout here, and then I have other. Um, the rest of my body is visible now. All right. Now we're not done yet. I want to do a, a few more things to make this thing a little bit more interesting. I'm going to highlight this information and in backspace. I'm going to hit Control D and deselect it. I'm going to write a different word now, like loyalty. How about honor? I like loyalty. I'm going to put loyalty. No, honor. Because I have loyalty preset already. Sorry. I'm going to put the word honor. Click the move tool. We'll go to edit, free transform. Make honor nice and big. Good. I don't mind honor written like this. This is fine. I'll click the rectangle marquee tool highlight it. I am now going to make honor a uh, edit define brush preset. I will call it honor. It's 1240. Honor. Hit OK. Now I'm going to go back into my project. I will make another layer above this one where my text was and I'm going to click on a brush which is right here hit the drop menu go to the very bottom we have the word honor written and honor is not bad I'll put it right here now I have honor written here now you repeat this same process change this word and let's say that I, you did that because I've showed you how to do it already I'll go to dream now I have the word dream so I'll put dream and honor now I'm gonna put a different word let's say I want loyalty which I did say is in here uh, where is my loyalty word integrity loyalty let's do love I can't find loyalty at this moment I'll put love I'm gonna make love a bit of a different size like right about here I'll put love right here now I wanna just put something up here as well and we'll go into this drop menu let's see I have integrity I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger whoa too big <laughs> too much integrity a little bit bigger about a, a 900 800 that's good so I'll put integrity here alright and after I have integrity I'll just put one more quick little word on the bottom part which will be strength so I'm gonna put strength like uh, a little bit smaller a little bit bigger than that a little bit bigger than that like a 900 975 good strength I'm putting BAM right there I don't like strength there. I'm going to put it right here. So now I have strength. Now, I like these words. I'm going to show you guys one last trick on how to make them look a little bit better. We could put a strength on the bottom as well. Nah, get rid of it. You come to the effects on the bottom one. You're going to right click. You're going to... Sorry about that. Right click. You're going to copy layer style go to this new one right click paste layer style now everything has just been pasted back into this new layer there you have it you can make any word you want a stamp and define it as a brush set and you can make any quote you want within here and now you know how to make these this bit of information a stamp or you also know how to use layer masks on how to make this stuff so we went from this we went from this to this and it really wasn't that hard all right enjoy and thank you